why? Lack of funds. I have built many of the businesses, even though I have a lot of money now, a lot of the properties all over the world without using any of my own money. It doesn't mean that there's no money being used. It means none of my own money. You know there's more people in this country, in the UK, that have money but don't know what to do with it than people bringing them properties or investments or opportunities. Did you know that? But people are scared here. And so it's your job to instill confidence in them. Partly because the Bernie Madoff in the United States has shook the entire world. What's happening with the banking system? What's happening with the euro? And that except for moves not to jump on that bad one again, right? I remember when the whole talks about that. And that's probably one of the reasons why the UK is going to bounce back. Portfolio passive income is where your money works for you. The question is that, does your money work for you? And here's my advice for you, for those of you who have money in this room. Trust, but verify. Because more people lose money in times of desperation of growing their wealth. And that's a very specific. One of the things my coach has taught, taught me is always, write it down, hedging and diversification. There isn't one thing that works in today's market. It's doing 35 things a couple times. Does that make sense? There isn't one strategy that only works in today's market and say that one strategy will make you financially dependent. There isn't. Does that make sense? But a lot of people put all their eggs in one basket. What happens when you put all your, how many people put all their eggs in a basket in PPC traffic? Where are they now? Their whole business got banished because Google slapped all the make money opportunities. And Facebook, which is where everybody moves to, they'll take any business now. You know why they will take any business now? Because they're going to go public in May. So they're going to try to have as much revenue as possible. Once they go public, they will do the same thing that Google did, and we have <coughs> all the small players. I mean, like, well, if you are not being strategic enough, it moves ahead. Do you see it coming? So how do you hedge yourself and diversify yourself? And number four is the relational capital. There are four types of capital. Number one, financial capital. Write that down. Financial capital. Number two, educational capital. That's the money you invest in education, courses, all of that. Number three, social capital. The more you give, the more you get. How many people here genuinely want to help people? Raise your hand. Okay, not all of you. Let's try it again. How many people want to help people? Raise your hand. You can't help people unless you help yourself first. So you know some of the problems that a lot of you have? You are too nice. You say yes to everybody else when they need help, and then when you need help, are they there for you? You need to focus on you and your family. And also, nobody wants help from broke people. Am I right? I mean, if every speaker here was broke, would you buy their courses? So, we need to start saying no. And 2012 has changed because if 2011, didn't have a good year for you or the year you wanted. What do you think 2012 is going to happen if you have the same result? Right? So we need to change, am I right? And that's where it's going to start. And then the most important one is relational capital. Everything comes down to relationships. You know the funny part is? You know what passive income comes from? Relationships. It is not what you know that's going to make you successful. It is not who you know. It's who knows you. Some of the great businesses, the great property investments, the great contacts I get to meet have been as a result of people that I have met. Because successful people know who? Other successful people. Broke people know who? Broke people. Have you ever had a broke people give you a great piece of advice that you took and made millions? Honestly, have you? Relational capital. In fact, I hold the world's number one wealth networking conference in the world called Mega Partners. And here's the premise of Mega Partners. You get big industry tycoons, celebrities, Rudy Giuliani, Gene Simmons, uh, you know, Robert Kiyosaki, all those people here. And then we mail to people that have money all over the world. People with serious money. Now, if I called someone with a lot of money and said, hey, how would you like to come to a four-day conference to learn? Why do you think that person who is worth 100 million pounds would say, or 10 million pounds, or 3 million pounds, or a million pounds? What do you think they're going to say? No. No one's going to sit through four days. 
Anybody here worth over 100 million pounds? Right? Not yet. <laughs> One step at a time. Think about it. If you were worth 100 million pounds or 10 million pounds, would you be here right now? Where would you be? Personally, go through everyone and accept the ones and deny the ones personally. 